Premium is absurdly expensive. I mean, it's getting crazy how much money it takes every month to maintain premium. So in this video, I'm going to explore if it's actually worth spending all of that silver on premium or if it's better just to spend it on other things and play without it. So starting off, we should just quickly take a look at what premium actually gets you. The benefits from premium can basically be split into two categories, money and account progression. So basically stuff that increases the amount of money you make or increases your profits, and then stuff that helps you progress your account faster, leveling up quicker. So on the money side of things, first thing we have is you get 10,000 focus every day. Just naturally you get focus. This focus can basically be turned into money via refining and crafting. Just as a general reference for this, if you are on the West server and you use your focus to make furniture, which is something that requires absolutely no account progression and anybody can do, but doesn't really progress your account at all. So it's just a general money making way for beginners who use focus. It's around 1 million silver a month that you make from that. Second thing it gives you is 50% more silver and items from any game generated loot. So what this means is any silver drops from mobs will be increased by 50%, any loot drops from mobs, again, increased by 50%, including things like chests. So every time you open a chest, it'll have 50% more loot, including silver bags. Gather yield increased by 50%. Basically, any loot that you acquire through interacting with the game in some way, as opposed to interacting with other players, will be increased by 50%. Along with this, you have 100% increased farming yield and animal growth times on your player islands. So if you are doing any farming or growing animals, it basically doubles the amount of money you make from that. You also get 4% less market tax when you're selling items on the market. The base tax for like orders stays the same, like buy orders is still 2.5%, but if you're selling an item on the market, it's 8% tax for non-premium characters and only 4% for premium characters, so 4% more money basically than anything you sell in the market. And then last but not least, you get basically weekly chests, like from the Adventurer's Challenge, you get the four chests from those every month, as well as the chests from the Conqueror's Challenge, which is the might thing. These are very much RNG based, but you're probably looking at around a mil silver a month from these chests. On the West server, that is again. On the account progression side of things, first and foremost, we have 50% more fame from basically all activities. Anything in your Destiny board that has fame attached to it, you get 50% more fame when you have premium for any combat fame, any crafting fame, any gathering fame, any refining fame, basically everything. All fame is boosted by 50%. Along with this, you also get 30 learning points every day, which is 20 more than non-premium characters can get. So non-premium get 10 a day if they complete the daily challenge thing. Whereas with premium, you get automatically 30 points a day, no matter what you do. Along with these, you have some smaller, more insignificant account progression things. Namely, it lets you buy an island the first time you buy premium. So it lets you farm, basically. You can't really farm until you buy premium the first time. And I also have this in money, but 100% animal growth times will also increase how fast you can grow animals and level up that part of your account. Okay, so when asking the question, is premium worth it? There are two questions you have to ask yourself that are by far the most important. One, how much do you play? And two, what types of gameplay do you like doing? Obviously, since premium is a time-based thing, you pay for 30 days. If you're not playing very much in those 30 days, it's very unlikely that premium will be worth it for you. Similarly, if you look at your favorite content and it doesn't really get many benefits from premium, then again, premium is probably not gonna be super worth it for you. But most people that are looking to buy premium play a fair amount and they do a variety of activities. So let's look at some numbers just as a sort of reference to see how valuable premium is compared to other sorts of things in the game. So if we take premium at a pure monetary sense for a second, just completely ignore any of the account progression side of premium, we can compare it to some sort of other investment based silver options in the game. So I'm gonna use the West values, the West server values right now because the economy is just so much more stable. Premium at the time of recording this is pretty much 18 million silver on the dot for 30 days. So what this means in terms of a monetary value is straight up, if you just play the game enough to make 36 million silver from game generated loot in 30 days, premium will always be worth it for you. 
So for example, if you're a pretty experienced player, you've got your account progression up a decent amount and you have like some high tier gathering or you can run solo dungeons really efficiently, a lot of these sort of higher end later game activities can easily make you about 1 million silver an hour without premium. So say you're a tier 8 gatherer making around 1 million silver an hour and you gather for 36 hours in a month making 36 million in a month then premium will always 100% be worth it for you because you would have paid off your premium in those hours of gathering. If you made 36 mil without premium, with premium that would have been increased by 50%, meaning an extra 18 mil, which would have just paid for the price of premium. Same with any other activity that gets its money or its value from game generated loot, so solo dungeons, open world mobs, roads of Avalon, etc. If you are making 36 million in game generated loot in 30 days, buying premium is 100% worth it because you will just pay for the premium with the extra money you'll be getting. So what you can do is if you are unsure, you can track the loot that you get from these types of activities over time and see how much money you're making from them. So before you go for a trip to do solo dungeons or open world mobs or in the roads or something like that, before you leave, note down the time and then when you come back, note how much loot you got from that and the time it took you and you can generally get a sense of how much money you're making per hour and then you can compare that to how long you think you're spending playing the game every month on average and get a general sense of how much money you should generally be making per month from game generated loot. If that gets close to or passes 36 million silver or gets really anywhere near that, then the extra loot generated by premium would pay for the premium itself and it would 100% be worth it. Same thing if you're a crafter. If you track how much money you're making every time you use focus on crafting something, you can see how much extra money premium would have made you. Now, let's say you're not anywhere near a late game player and you're not nearly making that amount of money per month or per hour, which I imagine most of you aren't. Well, don't worry because the main benefit of premium is not in the money, but rather on the account progression side of things. The 50% more fame from everything just helps you level up faster. It's really big, especially if you spend a lot of time fame farming or gathering or crafting, really any kind of leveling your account, this 50% bonus is very big. It's almost kind of like a Satchel of Insight. You're basically paying money for bonus fame. But while the Satchel of Insight is a pay-as-you-go sort of thing, premium is a base amount for a time based of bonus fame. But it is easy to compare the two. If you were to spend 18 million silver, which is the price of premium, on a Satchel of Insight getting bonus combat fame, you would receive about 16 million bonus combat fame. What this means is that if you were going to fame farm enough to the point where you'd be getting 32 million fame normally in a month without a satchel or anything else, then it would just be more efficient to get premium. Because if you're fame farming 32 million fame in a month, you're going to get a bonus extra 16 million with the premium's bonus 50%, which would be the same as you'd get with a satchel. More than that though, a really big benefit of the premium that isn't very noticeable is the learning points. Premium get 30 learning points every day as we discussed, and non-premium only get 10 a day if they complete the Daily Adventures Key Challenge. So in 30 days, assuming a non-premium player gets their learning points every single day, a premium character is getting 600 more learning points than a non-premium character. Is that a lot? Yes, it, it definitely is. That is very significant. Now, it's hard to give a clear image or example of how much that is, how much LP that is, because they don't scale with fame in a linear way. So it's not like every learning point is worth, say, 5,000 fame. It changes depending on what you are trying to level and what level that thing is. But for the sake of argument, let's say that you are going to use your learning points on combat fame. Each learning point seems to be anywhere from around 5k combat fame per learning point to 50k combat fame per learning point. So if you're planning to use your learning points very efficiently, let's say 40k fame per learning point, that's about 24 million combat fame that a premium player would get over a non-premium player for free just from buying premium. For something like crafting, it's probably closer to around 10 to 12k fame per learning point if used really efficiently, which would be around 6 to 7 mil crafting fame. This is a lot of fame. Honestly, it's one of the bigger benefits of premium that often goes unnoticed. 
Now, just to caveat this really quickly, if you haven't watched my learning points video, in order to get the most efficient use of learning points, you have to be using them on very high level nodes or levels, which need a lot of fame to level up. So it's not going to be as efficient for beginners. They won't really have the ability to use them really efficiently and get all that fame out of the learning points unless they just sit on them and don't use them until a lot later. Okay, so in that last section, I threw a bunch of numbers at you and stuff, and you're probably a little bit confused. That's fine. Here's what it all means in plain English summary style. First and foremost, just know that premium is extremely valuable. In my opinion, it is definitely one of the best uses of silver in the game, if not the straight up best, most valuable use of silver. However, for most players, it probably seems like always having premium active or never having premium active, neither of those is the right choice. Rather, it's best to only sometimes have it active to sometimes buy it, depending on what type of content you're enjoying or you're planning to do. Let me explain. So say you want to learn a new weapon line. Your old weapon line is getting a little stale. You want to try out a new one, spec it up, level it up, do all that sort of stuff. Premium is going to be an absolutely amazing investment and the best way you can possibly use your silver. This is because the types of activities that you do while you're learning a new weapon line are amazingly benefited by premium. We went over just how crazy it is for account progression with the 50% bonus fame and all the learning points. It will help you spec that weapon line up so much faster. And on top of that, when you are doing these sorts of leveling up activities, fame farming usually generates a lot of loot from the game, which is where the money making side of premium shines as well. If you're doing open world mobs or dungeons or roads or really anything to level up and spec that weapon up doing fame farming, you're going to be getting a lot of loot from the game. And so premium is going to not only give you way more fame, but it's also going to basically increase all the money you're making in that time by 50%. So buying premium when you're planning to do like a lot of fame farming is going to help just automatically pay for itself as a nice side effect to also getting bonus fame. On the other hand, if you are currently like loving the mists, fighting, ratting, doing all the other stuff people do in mists, I don't know, that place is weird. Premium is not going to do much for you. Mists are very classically a low reward area. The vast majority of the reward coming from the mists comes in the PvP, killing other players and specifically taking the loot off of their dead bodies. Most of the benefit and reward from the mists comes from the bodies of your enemies. This is not benefited by premium in any way. Sure, you'll get some benefit from premium for the smaller objectives in the mist, like the might and the random loot from the spiders and maybe the artifact mobs, but the primary reason you're doing the mist is the full loot PvP, and the primary thing is not benefited by premium, so it's probably not super worth it. So really, is premium worth it? Well, it completely depends on your plans for the next 30 days. Overall, premium is extremely valuable. It gives you a lot, both for money and especially for account progression. But a big caveat to this is you need to play enough to get the value from it. Now, it depends on what you're doing and like how far along you are, if you're really low spec versus high spec, or you're doing things really efficiently or less efficiently. But a general rule or advice I can give you is if you are doing like non full loot based activities, like gathering or solo dungeons, or open world mobs, stuff like that, for an average of one hour a day, it's probably worth it. You probably won't make that 18 million silver back in one month's time unless you're more of a late game player with everything leveled up already, but it's still worth it just because the insane amount of account progression that comes along with it will allow you to make much more money in the future much faster. And if you're ever unsure of whether you should buy it or not, well, it's pretty simple. There's no secrets in premium. You can simply track what you're doing in game for a couple days, a week, a month, and then look at how much premium would have benefited that. So all of that taken together, I can't really give you a rule. Is premium worth it or not? It completely depends on the individual person's case. If you're on the fence, I would say to get it because it is definitely one of the most valuable uses of silver in the game. Now, real quick before we end the video here, I just wanted to cover one more section because I've seen a lot of comments or questions about this. Will the price change? Do you think it will go down, etc.? Should I wait? 
My prediction is the price of premium will basically never change, and the reason is because it's in a perfect space for SBI. Let me explain. Premium is extremely valuable, right? We cover that. It gives you a lot, but it is percentage-based. 50% increased rewards. So the better you are doing, the more you're getting from it. Late game players who are doing very well because they have the account progression and the experience to do very well can do things like make the money back to pay for premium again fairly simple just by naturally playing the game. And this is good. I'm not going to get into all the reasons, but this is good for SBI to have late game players wanting to just consistently buy premium with in-game silver and being able to do that. However, while premium is valuable, it's not as valuable to late game players. They already have the account progression that they need. And as you get more experienced, more and more of the money that you make comes from full loot PVP and not game generated loot. So the later game you get, the more experienced you get, the easier it is to buy premium, but the less valuable it is to you. On the other hand, for beginners, everything premium gives you is extremely valuable the account progression benefits that's basically everything you're trying to do early is progress your account it's super beneficial the extra money that premium provides you in game generated loot again newer players are mainly getting loot that is from the game and not other players because they don't have the spec and experience to really do full loot pvp so the benefits from premium what it gives you is most valuable for newer players what we're left with is a system where premium is extremely valuable but it most benefits the people that can't afford it. And this is what makes it perfect for SBI. The people that premium is most valuable for cannot afford it with in-game silver. So they're either forced to live without it, constantly reminded of how much better things could be, or to pay real life money for it. So will the price of premium ever change? Will it ever go back down? No. Obviously, as the game's economy changes, the gold market, the silver market crashes and goes ups and downs, the premium cost will change, but SBA will try to always keep it at the place it is right now. Super expensive for most people. Okay, that's all I have for this video. That video is kind of long and ranty and maybe confusing, so I apologize for that. But is premium worth it? There's your answer. It's not a simple answer. It's not a short answer, but I hope this video helps you in some way. If it did, do all the stuff you do to YouTube videos, and I will see you in the next one.